Well, Molly, I appreciate you doing this. I know it was kind of unexpected to show up and do media all of a sudden, but That's all right. you know, we wanted to talk to you the other night. Uh, you know, a frustrating result for you for sure. We know what an important fight it was for you. Mm -hmm. And then of course you left your gloves in the cage. And I know you've gone to social media and, and, and posted a quick message, but can you just explain what that was? I think everybody was a little worried that you were walking away. Um it was a lot of frustration that I didn't get to to show what I wanted to show and how hard we've worked since the Talia fight and how close the jiu-jitsu's finally got to submitting a black belt. So, um, yeah, it was just a lot of frustration and I wanted to, to honor my dad's memory in some way, do you know what I mean? I, I didn't really think too much about what I was doing, um, but I knew that I weren't quitting. There's too much fighting in, um, in the old dog yet, like I said, but uh, just before, the fight happens, I messaged Gillian and I was like, do you want me to help you on fight week? Um, and it's probably the best thing that I could have ever done because um, she's the one who changed my whole career. She was the best and worst thing that ever happened to me was Gillian Robertson. So because of her, I'm still here. You mentioned the frustration. So, but I mean, was there any thought about like, I'm like, I'm, I'm done? I mean, did it cross your mind at all? Or was it, it just a coincidence that the gloves were in the cage? I, I can't, I can't. I'll never be done with it. I'll be like, um, what's his name, Diego Sanchez. I'll probably be about 40 and still like screaming at people and giving them the finger. But um, it was so much frustration. And it's just annoying that someone didn't come to fight the way I like to fight. It was win by their means necessary and not mine. Like, I want to fight. Make me hard. Give me someone who wants to fight and scrap, not just someone who wants to take me down and lie on me. I know you got to run, so just one last one. So what is the next move? I mean, are you trying to book something right away? Do you want to take a little time off and help your teammates? What's the next move? Right now, I just, everything's about Jillian on the weekend. And then after that, I'm going to train still. And then um, when I get the call, I've never turned a, a fight down. So I'm, I'm always here to fight. Just a quick one for me, Molly. It's happening, lad. Oh, mate. It's uh, obviously not the way you want to do it, but you're at least enjoying Las Vegas a little bit. Listen, did anyone see my Instagram story on Sunday? <laughs> I went into the, it waited to go to the MGM. I was like, give me 10 Patron shots and just got on the aisle. Um, yeah, I've, I've got some funny videos, but I knew I shouldn't really put them all on Instagram because I was really, really sad. But um, I was depressed on the Monday in the hotel room and then thank fuck for Gillian yesterday because <laughs> I was getting ready to commit. But, you know... Um, I take the losses really, really tough. I'm not like, I had to ask Gillian once, like, why does it, um, how can you just get on with it? I think it was in Boston. I won and she lost. She's just like, you just get back on the horse and like fight again, don't you? I was like, fuck, but it really hates my feelings. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's the hardest, most courageous thing I think I've ever had to do is stay here on my own and deal with what I'm dealing with. Um, in my own head without the team here but I mean you wouldn't you wouldn't go home if you've never been to Vegas before would you?